replace you in their life. Once the narcissist realizes their mistake in parting ways with you, they exist in a different realm. In their self-absorbed mindset, they tend to perceive people as easily replaceable entities. Narcissists treat individuals as interchangeable objects, akin to replaceable items with a monetary value. You can always buy a new chair if one breaks or get a new coffee mug if the old one shatters, nothing irreparable. However, when ending a relationship with someone who treated you with genuine care, made sincere efforts to understand and work through challenges and was willing to make significant sacrifices for the relationship, finding a substitute becomes a formidable task. It's challenging to discover someone else who can match the level of devotion and kindness the narcissist received. Unfortunately, narcissists often overlook this reality. It's a lesson they learn after alienating someone, or even multiple people, from their lives. Their tendency to make everything revolve around themselves leads to pushing others away. People become mere instruments serving the narcissist's needs. Instead of recognizing others as distinct individuals, narcissists perceive them as extensions of themselves. Regrettably, they seldom consider or care about the impact of their actions, words, and behaviors on others. In essence, narcissists frequently inflict harm on those close to them when trying to vent their anger or shame. The trail of traumatized individuals left behind doesn't register as a concern for them because, fundamentally, they lack empathy and care. Persistently making people feel bad will drive them away sooner or later. They won't endure the mistreatment out of obligation. The narcissist's underlying belief is, fine, they'll seek someone else who treats them well. The narcissist seeks an individual whose personality aligns with theirs, someone compliant, willing to absorb their negative projections, and ready to provide constant attention. However, they acknowledge that such individuals aren't readily available. Unlike a bag of M&Ms where you can consume a few paws and then crave more, finding people of desirable quality isn't as straightforward. These compatible individuals are not always accessible, and locating them proves challenging because most people eventually declare, actually, I want nothing to do with this person, even if the narcissist manages to pique some initial interest. Recognizing that the narcissist is detrimental, most individuals wisely choose to disengage. Consequently, it becomes exceedingly difficult for the narcissist to secure individuals willing to endure their behavior and contribute to achieving their objectives. If the narcissist comes to the realization that everything you provided, your sacrifices, your willingness to assist others, and your generous nature was something they appreciated, they must confront the truth once you've departed. You might have displayed certain codependent traits that weren't beneficial for you, yet the narcissist exploited them because it served their purposes. The perceived reality they hold doesn't align with the reality they experience. In their view, they consider themselves exceptionally impressive, with an ego soaring high, believing that those in their proximity are fortunate. The narcissist's actions, even if harmful, are justified in their eyes, as they think those subjected to mistreatment should express gratitude for merely being allowed to be in their presence. This self-centered perspective, akin to a god complex, is prevalent among most narcissists. While some may not exhibit it to the same extent, a substantial ego remains a prominent indicator of narcissistic tendencies. This implies that, during your time with them, they believe just about anyone they can attract can replace you. However, when they struggle to find someone to fulfill the role you once played, they are forced to confront the reality that it's not as great as they initially thought. Establishing a balanced exchange becomes challenging for narcissists because they tend to be takers rather than givers. In the early stages, during love bombing and investment, they may give a little more to ensure a long-term supply, 
But it won't be long before they take more than they give, making it unsustainable for the other person. At some point, narcissists sense the limitations and acknowledge that only a finite number of people can meet their needs. This process is akin to monkey branching, while they can temporarily connect with new people through dating apps or casual encounters, these interactions don't provide the sustained, quality supply narcissists require. Even if they manage to attract individuals, these connections are likely fleeting, as people will quickly distance themselves if they feel they are being used or manipulated by the narcissist. They might attract numerous individuals into their social circle, but not all will remain. This is the moment of realization for the narcissist when they recognize the value of having someone committed to being their enduring source of support. The difficulty they encounter in filling that void makes them understand that a single person who stays, cares for, and supports the narcissist holds far more worth than a hundred transient acquaintances who only engage briefly and are unwilling to invest deeply in the relationship. Understand this. Narcissists might try to convey the illusion that they can effortlessly replace you. When you're entangled with a narcissist, they may portray themselves as content with someone new, adeptly managing the perception others have of them. Their social media posts featuring seemingly joyful moments with others are not indicative of genuine happiness, but rather a strategic attempt to influence how you perceive them. This awareness is crucial because many individuals struggle to reclaim their self-worth after breaking free from a narcissistic relationship. The imperative is to resist the temptation to return. Yes, move forward. Seek out wholesome connections, engage in positive activities, and foster healthy thought patterns. Yet, the journey to restoring self-worth becomes more manageable when you recognize that the narcissist's attempts to replace you are merely part of their self-deceptive games. Their fantasy world rarely aligns with reality as they envision it. Acknowledge your inherent value and irreplaceability. While returning to them is not advised, knowing that what you bring to the table is genuinely valuable fosters the belief that someone will one day appreciate it. For some, this realization serves as a catalyst for moving forward in a constructive and affirming manner. Appreciate your viewership. Remorse is a sentiment that has likely left its mark on each of us at some juncture. It emerges from the unpleasant recognition that our past choices or lack thereof have led to unfavorable consequences. Regret can cast a profound shadow on our mental well-being, infiltrating our thoughts and emotions. In this piece, we embark on an exploration of the intriguing query. Do narcissists genuinely grapple with regret when they part ways with someone? To navigate this subject, it's imperative to first grasp why individuals experience regret and whether they possess the capacity to transcend it. Typically, regret emerges from a sense of guilt or remorse, stemming from the belief that alternative actions could have been taken in the past. It can act as a potent impetus for personal development, inspiring us to make different decisions in the future. However, for some, regret transforms into a recurring cycle of self-examination and self-doubt. The ability to transcend regret often hinges on self-awareness and emotional intelligence. Now, delving into the realm of narcissists, the inquiry of whether they authentically regret losing someone unravels a complex enigma. Narcissists can be metaphorically compared to parasites, attaching themselves to the lives of those around them to siphon the energy and resources they crave for sustenance. They skillfully mask their true predatory nature, projecting an illusion of invulnerability. However, beneath this veneer lies an empty husk, paradoxically brimming with insecurity. This is their stark reality when confronted with loss and sorrow. Yet, the domain of regret is not one where narcissists dwell with the same depth as the rest of us. 
empathy eludes them, and recognizing the repercussions of their actions on those in their orbit is beyond their capacity. Their preoccupations center solely around their own needs and desires, perceiving others merely as instruments to fulfill their objectives. Consequently, when confronted with loss, they remain untouched by remorse or guilt, as they are incapable of acknowledging the agency and emotions of those involved. Journeying into the terrain of regret within the narcissistic psyche unveils intricate layers that characterize their emotional landscape. It provides a glimpse into their inherent limitations regarding remorse and empathy. Instead of harboring genuine regret, a narcissist is inclined to simulate remorse as a manipulative ploy to regain control over the person they lost. Their objective might involve inducing guilt or placing responsibility on the individual for the loss, thereby establishing a paradynamic in their favour. Employing tactics like empty promises of change, flattery or deceit, they strive to lure the person back. However, these displays of regret lack authenticity and are devoid of genuine emotions of remorse or guilt. Now, the lingering question persists. Do narcissists genuinely grapple with regret when they lose someone? Regret does exist within their domain, though in a skewed manifestation. It is a common human experience to reflect on decisions following setbacks, like the conclusion of a relationship or the termination of a career. In my own journey, I find myself contending with regret regarding my own inaction. Yet, it's crucial to acknowledge that the narcissistic interpretation of regret diverges significantly from the perspective of others. Their restricted field of vision constrains their outlook, resembling a tunnel that acknowledges only individuals and entities deemed valuable to themselves. Worth, in their eyes, is exclusively reserved for those actively contributing to their constructed self, be it through attention, money, sex, or any other form of supply fulfilling their demands. This valuation isn't rooted in genuine care or a desire for a healthy relationship. Instead, it stems from the utility you provided, addressing their needs in ways their existing resources couldn't fulfill. Hence, the narcissist's encounter with regret deviates significantly from our own. When I express regret for losing someone, it signifies my inability to manipulate the circumstances to my advantage, resulting in a loss of perceived value or benefits, rather than genuine emotional attachment or concern for the individual. Their pursuit involves finding a new partner to satiate their incessant hunger for attention, manipulation and praise. It's akin to preferring to retain an existing source of supply rather than embarking on the effort of seeking a new one, much like choosing to keep a reliable housekeeper or an automated cash dispenser for the services they offer. The truth is, a narcissist depends on others to meet their needs, regardless of the specific person. Replacing you is a seamless task, as long as the new individual can fulfill the narcissist's demands. In this realm, Authentic care and concern for one another are absent, replaced by sheer egotism, where individuals prioritize their goals without considering others. It epitomizes an extreme form of egocentrism. Consequently, a narcissist's experience of regret doesn't align with your own. Even when they portray remorse, it's devoid of authentic sentiments of loss, regret or guilt. Rather, it morphs into a recognition that they should have retained the source of supply in their life to satisfy their own desires. Post-breakup, a narcissist might make attempts to reconnect using excuses or grandiose revelations, like attributing divine intervention or newfound enlightenment. However, these endeavors are nothing more than manipulative strategies aimed at undermining your self-worth and extinguishing any hope you hold for their genuine change. Due to their lack of ethical foundations, a narcissist is inherently incapable of experiencing real regret. 
As humans, we possess a moral compass that guides our understanding of right and wrong, success and failure, and how to treat others. Unfortunately, a narcissist lacks this capacity. Their focus is solely on self-preservation, even when confronted with unjust circumstances that threaten their carefully crafted image. The impact on others doesn't register, leaving them devoid of any genuine remorse. When someone fails to genuinely value you for who you are, grieving over their loss becomes fruitless. They were only interested in exploiting the energy and resources you provided. It's crucial for other survivors to grasp the mechanisms behind these false narratives and learn how to reclaim their well-being. I'm genuinely eager to hear about your personal experiences and the words your narcissist used while expressing their supposed remorse. Feel free to share your story by leaving a comment below. On that note, I look forward to delving deeper into this topic in an upcoming episode. Until then, our journey towards healing continues. In conclusion, narcissists may express regret for the loss of a person, but their understanding of regret differs significantly from ours. Due to their lack of empathy, Narcissists struggle to comprehend the emotional toll their actions inflict on those in their orbit. They harbour no authentic remorse or guilt when losing someone, as they see individuals as disposable tools. Their displays of sorrow are mere manipulative strategies to regain control. While they may feel a sense of distress over the harm inflicted on others and the consequences it may have for them, their remorse lacks genuineness. Therefore, it's vital to recognize these warning signs in relationships with narcissists and guard against falling victim to their manipulation. We appreciate your thoughts and inquiries, so please share them in the comment section if you found this video informative. Until we meet again, we will continue our journey towards healing. Have a wonderful day. When you adopt a stance of silence and disinterest toward a narcissist, observe as they unleash a storm of chaos. Witness the tumultuous roller coaster ride that characterizes the intricate dance within a relationship with a narcissist. Their conduct oscillates between purposeful neglect, sudden bursts of intense attention, and swift shifts to detachment and apathy, leaving you in a state of bewildering uncertainty. Identify these calculated mind games designed to destabilize any sense of stability in the relationship. The narcissist's goal is to undermine your confidence, sowing seeds of doubt about your inherent worth. Examining narcissistic tendencies through the prism of biblical teachings adds a unique perspective. The Bible highlights the perils of self-absorption, emphasizing virtues such as humility and compassion towards others. Essentially, it underscores the incongruity between narcissistic behavior and spiritual ideals. Seeking solace and guidance from the Bible becomes crucial when navigating the complexities of a relationship entangled with a narcissist. In moments of emotional turmoil, finding strength in the Bible's teachings and seeking support from reliable sources becomes imperative. The scriptures not only denounce narcissistic traits, but also guide individuals toward personal growth and resilience. For instance, Philippians 2-3 encourages prioritizing the welfare of others and embracing humility, a direct contradiction to the self-centered nature of narcissism. Exploring these teachings can clarify the significance of selflessness in personal growth, empowering individuals to confront the challenges presented by narcissists. While navigating the intricate landscape of relationships intertwined with narcissists, tapping into the transformative potential of biblical wisdom and seeking unwavering support from reliable allies becomes paramount. The Bible serves as a steadfast guide for understanding the consequences of self-centeredness, establishing a sturdy foundation to navigate the complexities of such relationships with resilience and determination. Upholding the principles of humility and selflessness, as advocated by the Bible, 
equips individuals to liberate themselves from the emotional turmoil inflicted by narcissists, fostering personal and spiritual well-being. Now let's delve into the classic strategy employed by narcissists in relationships, the intricate push and pull game they adept to use to elicit desired responses from partners or sources by oscillating between engagement and withdrawal. This manoeuvre perpetuates an unrelenting cycle. But what if a different approach is embraced? What if, instead of reacting to their withdrawal and apathy, one mirrors their actions and continues with their pursuits? Initially, anticipation might arise, assuming an infatuation with them. However, if the pattern remains unchanged, it throws them into disarray. The narcissist becomes perplexed, uneasy, their self-assurance wavering. Is the interest not as passionate as presumed? Could persisting in these games jeopardize losing the connection altogether? Delving into the realm of narcissistic behavior reveals a pattern that often catches individuals off guard. Imagine this scenario. The narcissist reinitiates contact, veiled in the guise of friendliness. Hey there, long time no see. Where have you been hiding? Why no call or outreach? It's a calculated move, a deliberate act to test your reaction. Should you display any signs of unease or lack of commitment, their objective becomes clear, to gauge your level of interest. Should your response appear lukewarm, their next move is all-encompassing. Affectionate gestures flood in, attempting to recapture your attention. But the twist arrives swiftly, leaving you bewildered. Suddenly, they withdraw, reveling in the satisfaction of unsettling you. The resulting anxiety is palpable. What if this pattern endures? What if you stand your ground and reciprocate with indifference to their apathetic maneuvers? The thought of them attempting to create distance, only for you to repel them further, enters your mind. Oddly enough, should they view you as a prized catch, this back and forth amplifies their obsession. It's as though you've outwitted them at their own game, an astonishing feat considering their belief in their superior cunning and street smarts. Yet here you stand, flipping the script, leaving them confounded by your lack of pursuit. Embarking on the complex journey of dealing with narcissists calls for intricate maneuvers, yet an intriguing strategy can unexpectedly shift the dynamics. While conventional wisdom often suggests confrontation or avoidance, an unconventional tactic involves a subtle psychological dance that leaves the narcissist in a state of bewilderment, questioning the effectiveness of their usual methods. This alternative approach reshapes the narrative, prompting the narcissist to ponder why you deviate from their anticipated responses. The blend of frustration and fascination becomes a powerful catalyst as they grapple with understanding your unconventional reactions. The dynamics between you and the narcissist undergo a remarkable transformation. In this intricate dance, their attention shifts. They become more engrossed in deciphering your actions than you are in theirs. Inadvertently challenging their perceived dominance becomes your advantage. Your behavior sparks their curiosity, leading them to question your motives and methods. Wrestling with the puzzle of your actions, you unknowingly gain the upper hand in a game they are accustomed to winning. The brilliance of this approach lies in compelling the narcissist to invest emotional energy in a situation outside their usual script. It becomes a tantalizing puzzle for them, unintentionally ensnaring them in their own creation. However, it's crucial to tread cautiously, avoiding prolonged engagement in their games. Maintaining a healthy balance in the relationship and preventing the narcissist from becoming overly emotionally invested in the realm of detachment is pivotal. To sidestep reciprocal games, choosing a certain level of distance while refraining from providing excessive material for contemplation facilitates a natural progression away from certain situations. 
The complexity of disentangling involves not only physical separation, but also orchestrating a subtle emotional disconnect. By maintaining emotional autonomy, you not only safeguard your mental well-being, but also disrupt the expected manipulative maneuvers of those involved. Liberating oneself from the intricacies of a narcissist demands a multifaceted approach. It's not just about individual resilience, but also about establishing a robust support network. Recognizing the emotional toll imposed by such relationships is the initial step toward healing. Seeking assistance, whether through therapy, confiding in trustworthy companions, or other avenues, does not signify weakness, but rather exemplifies strength in the pursuit of well-being. Prioritizing your mental health marks a personal triumph in the battle against the grip of narcissistic influence. It's a journey filled with challenges, and yet a sturdy support system acts as a buffer against these trials. Remember, when confronting the intricacies of a narcissist's mind, resisting the urge to mirror their behavior or seek their attention in you is crucial. Strategic planning to exit toxic situations minimizes entanglement in unnecessary drama. Acknowledging that a narcissist's relentless quest for dominance is their own burden enables one to concentrate on the journey towards liberation amidst the intricacies. Embrace the positive energy and love surrounding you, recognizing that each step propels you toward a more robust and fulfilling life. Wishing you strength on your path of self-discovery and recovery, may each day bring you nearer to a wholesome existence. Take care.